Hello. In 1972, I sat in this hall, wondering what would my future bring. For five years of my life, Holy Name Convent provided a space of safety so that I could move away from the challenges that I experienced at home. I lived in Quarry Street, East Dry River, and Holy Name Convent was that safe space. For many of you sitting here today, you are asking yourself, what will my future bring? Each of us has walked through this hall and experienced development. We are who we are today. And you have an opportunity to ask yourself, what will my future bring? And be confident that women from Holy Name Convent have made a difference. At that time, there was an assumption that if you came from behind the bridge, you would be on drugs, you would be a prostitute, you would have an early pregnancy. Then it was the reality of our country. I look at Holy Name today, I look at the audience sitting, I look at the young women that I'm seeing today, and I see our future. You need to empower yourself to transform our community. The women have that responsibility to transform our community. We can empower ourselves and transform everything that exists in Trinidad and Tobago. And I know that at the moment, we all feel that this country is going downhill. There's no recovery. May I suggest to you that this is an opportunity for you not to look about and a good thing, but to look at how can I remain here and make a difference. You will have to change a lot, but change is fantastic. Change is hard, but it is fantastic. I want you to begin that process of transforming our community and transforming our country by understanding the importance of women. Every criminal or corrupt man in this country has a mother. 50% of them almost have a sister and about 90% of them have a partner. What role are our women playing in minimizing criminality and corruption? We seem to have lost our voices. Let's regain our voices. Her role is to re-find her voice. Too many women in this country have lost their voices. We have simply become quiet. And I'm asking the young women in this country in this situation, in this world, who are sitting here to regain your voice. So I'm saying to Wupanen, you have a role, you have a responsibility. Let us regain our voices and transform our country. But before we do that, we have to ensure that we are physically fit. And you know, you may be saying, what does physical fitness have to do with it? What it has to do with it is that you are not physically healthy and fit. You will not be psychologically healthy and fit. And you will not have the capacity to transform our country. So I wish for you to start by reflecting on yourself and asking, am I sleeping enough? Am I having a balanced meal? Am I involved in physical activity? Physical activity is important. I learned that until the Holy Name Convent. I played hockey when I was a Holy Name. We didn't have a team, but we collaborated with checkers, hockey team, and we played hockey. So I played hockey, and that is where my approach to physical fitness began. The final thing we have to do to ensure we have balance in our lives 
Yes, I thought that are we drinking enough water? And people these days, when I ask that myself, show me a bottle of water. Listen, Wasa has a problem, but if you boil Wasa water, it just as good. So save your money rather than continue to drink water out of plastics that are destroying our country. We have a wonderful country with a range of resources, but we are not committed to ensuring that, that all of those resources are optimized and used in our interests. And any of you whose brain may have just gone away and said, I don't know what you're saying, you know, just please come back, come back. Because what I'm asking you to do is to become empowered and do things that make a difference to the country that we were born in. There's a reason we were born here. And I think, that's why I'm still here, that that reason is to make a positive difference in this beautiful island with resorts in. This island requires different leadership. And I am praying that Holy Name will send those leaders to empower women and transform our communities and our country. I hope you remember three things from today. Number one, have a balanced life. Number two, transform our country. You can make a difference. And number three, be intentional about your decision to start a family. I sincerely hope that these three ideas will remain in your head and make a difference. Look to the future and you ask yourself, why am I here today? What am I going to achieve? Because that is the only way we will be able to transform this country. And as I depart, and when I talk about departure, at my age, departure is sooner. But I plan to make the best of every moment that I have before I, tra I transit to another place. And today has been absolutely wonderful for me because as I said, in 1972, I sat here, asked myself, what would my future be? And at that time, I had just four levels. Okay? Today I have, and I'm not boasting, two master's degree, a, a BSc. I've taught for many years and so on. So the learning in that is you are in charge of your future. Be very clear about what you want why you want it, and anybody else who is not with you, remember the word veritas, truth. Be truthful to you. Thank you very much.